Hi guys, Mary here. Uh, so today I'm going to be working out here in my cold shop. And uh, here we are, April 10th, and it was 23 degrees this morning. Um, I can't remember ever having a spring like this where uh, it just kept on being cold. I don't want to complain, but um, yeah, I think last year we would have been mowing lawn already by now. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see green out there. And I mean, we're seeing bits and pieces of it, but not like usual. So uh, yeah, hopefully it will come soon. And uh, but yeah, today I thought I'd do something kind of springish to keep my mood up for spring. Um, I bought this uh, planter at Dollar General and I gave four dollars for it. And it's um, I thought I'd use it for like a liner for I'm going to make a wooden box for like a window box, and I'm just going to use this to set inside, you know, as a liner to protect the wood and. Um, I have been pinning some uh, window box ideas, you know, plants and flowers and stuff to put in here, so I can't wait to actually plant them. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd make maybe four or five of them, but today I'll just be making one uh, just to show you guys in case you'd be interested in trying something like this on your own. It's not hard. Okay, and we have this picket fence that I'm going to be tearing down uh, this spring. It was put up maybe eight, nine, something like that years ago and um, it's kind of falling apart in places. It's not very nice anymore, but the wood is still kind of good. So I thought, um, yeah, I'd use the wood to make my window boxes. And um, so I tore off about six pieces of the picket fence. And I think I'm gonna be using uh, the, like the back side of the wood, you know, as my front for the boxes. Uh, Cause this side is pretty peely and I won't be able to finish it. I think I'm gonna put a stain or a paint on these boxes. So this will be nicer to work with. And, uh, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is just, yeah, make boxes for this uh, liner here. And uh, yeah, follow me as I work on this and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I will be using uh, another full board that I just found here in my shop for the bottom. Uh, Cause I didn't wanna use, uh, you know, two pieces of this for my bottom. I just thought it wouldn't be as strong, you know, using two pieces as just one whole piece like this. And of course I would need to measure the uh, top, since this is, uh, you know, at a slant here, I need to go with, you know, how the top of the pot is here for my uh, box so it will fit in then. So if I put this uh, upside down on this piece of wood, it's actually exactly the right width. Uh, all I have to do is get the length here and then cut it and then I have my bottom. Uh, board here and uh, of course I need to do this in two pieces because it's not wide enough uh, so my next piece I will have to rip uh, the board uh, for whatever's left here okay guys so usually I would have a guard on this blade here but somebody took it off for me and I am in a hurry I'm not going to bother to put it on so uh, don't really do this at home uh, it's always you know safer to use a guard but I think for just this quick cut here, I'm just going to leave it as it is and just be very, very careful. Okay, as you can see, I have my end uh, piece here and of course I cut, you know, two of them so the other end will get the same thing here. But uh, being it's in two pieces, I almost have to have a little connector of wood here to connect them together. And because of the slant of the pot, you know, it's more narrow down here, I'll be able to fit this piece, uh, you know, on the bottom here, and it should be okay and not, you know, be in the way. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all my pieces and then maybe go to a warmer place to actually put it together because my hands are freezing out here. Uh, but yeah, I just need the other, uh, or I, I have the other side and the other little piece of wood here. Um, I have this all, so I just need the long pieces here for the sides.
Okay, so here is the box all put together, and uh, I'm going to see if this liner fits in for sure. And yeah, it looks like it fits in perfectly. Um, I did um, mistakenly turn two of the boards the wrong way here, which I don't know what I was thinking, but I think it'll be okay. I might sand off some of that peely paint. Depending on what kind of finish I put on here, that might show up. Um, but yeah, it's ready to finish now, and I'm going to run downstairs and see what I have on hand for an outdoor finish. Okay, so I found this nice uh, green color here that I think would look good on a window box with flowers. Um, I'm not sure of the name of it. It's uh, painted over, but I do have the formula here if I ever need some more. But uh, yeah, it's actually an interior paint, but I think I'm going to use it anyway. And I will just, after it's dry, I'll give it a coat of this uh, uh, clear spray paint. It's a gloss, um, you know, a sealer. This should help, you know, to protect it uh, from the elements on the outside. So, uh, but first before I apply the paint, I'm going to just roughly, you know, sand the edges of the box and, uh, yeah, I'll make so everything's ready to, to paint then and we'll give it one coat and see how it looks. this will look against the railing. Uh, if you see some white stuff coming down, it is actually snow here on April 10th. Um, but yeah, it's still cold out here. It hasn't warmed up much. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see how uh, this green will look against the black here. Uh, our railings are all black and our floor is brown, so I think this splash of color will uh, look nice here, just a pop of color. And especially once there's flowers in here and maybe spilling over the sides, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'll probably end up screwing it onto the, the railing later on in the spring here. And um, I can always take them down over winter, uh, make so they're removable. Uh, but yeah, I think it'll look okay. I'm impressed at how it turned out. And I still want to give it that coat of the clear spray paint to protect it. And uh, But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of the week. Thank you.